The United States government has placed the polar bear on its list of threatened species a year and a half after it accepted that there was a link between global warming and the melting of the bear's habitat. But the U.S. Secretary of the Interior says that the new status would not justify attempts to curb American oil and gas operations in Alaska. Arctic sea ice is crucial to the polar bear survival, but it's melting fast, leaving thousands of them living on land and icebergs. The U.S. government says that there are several reasons for putting polar bears on the threatened species list. First, sea ice is vital to polar bear survival. Second, the polar bear's sea ice habitat has dramatically melted in recent decades. Third, computer models suggest sea ice is likely to further recede in the future. Because polar bears are vulnerable to this loss of habitat, they are, in my judgment, likely to become endangered in the foreseeable future. But environmentalists are furious. They say the U.S. should be doing more to reduce global warming and that putting a protection order on polar bears is not enough because that doesn't stop their habitat from melting. We know they could have done better. A different administration might have done better with this law. And the, the notion that there's no way that, uh, that the government, that U.S. actions on global warming can affect the Arctic is also ridiculous because the U.S. is 25% of global emissions. And the thought that nothing we can do in this country will positively affect uh, the, the polar bear is outrageous. The National Snow and Ice Data Center estimates that the amount of summer ice surrounding the North Pole has declined by 28 square miles each year. And scientists say the disappearance of Arctic sea ice could result in the population of polar bears falling drastically in the next 50 years. Wendy Urquhart, BBC News.